Hey folks, Twisha Christian here. Today, I just want to quickly bring to you some information for down the road. And that we need to start being a really careful, especially when it comes to the stock market. And one of the things that I want to bring up is that you guys already know most recently Biden signed bill raising the U.S. debt limit averting default. One of the things that I do want to bring to you is, is that this only pushes it until December. On Thursday, signed legislation temporarily raising the government's borrowing limit to $28.9 trillion, pushing off the deadline for debt default only until December. So what happened up to this point when they were debating it, right? The stock market was really slump during this time period. That once we get closer to December, you need to really start watching some of your investments uh, because they're going to start talking about, again, raising the debt ceiling. The Republicans aren't going to agree with the Democrats, and you have some Democrats that aren't agreeing with other Democrats. It's a big mess in saying that we're approaching $29 trillion. But also what I want to bring to your attention is that is here is the taper. Right, Fed policymakers hone in on November taper timeline. Three U.S. Federal Reserve policymakers on Tuesday said the economy has healed enough for the central bank to begin withdrawal its crisis air support, cementing expectations the Fed will start to taper its monthly bond purchases as soon as next month. All right, so there, are, so the markets are worried about that. On top of, we're going to have another debt ceiling issue coming up towards the end of November because they're going to have to try to work it out. So there's two things that could have an impact on the stock market being really sluggish. Right? I'm not saying it's going to crash, but we saw what happened previously with the debt ceiling. And sometimes when they've talked about the tapering, it's actually brought the stock markets down some. But you have two issues that are going to be starting in November. And after Thanksgiving is when they'll start talking about the debt ceiling again. And at some point in November, the Federal Reserve will stop tapering, which basically means that, you know, they were supporting this economy and so forth. Right. So they're going to stop doing that. They're not going to stop doing it altogether at once, but they're not going to be putting in as much as time goes on. So some people expect the markets to to start rallying over the next month or so. And one of the things is, is that if, if the wealthy people know what's coming, and they've said it, you can go to all the big financial institutions, there's something really negative coming down the pipeline con concerning our economy. They know that they're going to be discussing the debt ceiling again. They know that you have your tapering. So we might actually see the stock market over the next couple of weeks in general go up. And I believe that also with all this, including the stock market, one of the things that we're going to be looking for is the rich trying to get out the stock market and the rich trying to get out of the cryptocurrency markets for a period of time. And they may not necessarily get out the stock market, but they might be shorting the heck out of the stock market in general. But it will be an opportunity for the rich to try to get out before this major crash happens. Uh, the November-December timeline that I've been discussing here, prophetically speaking to as well, there's a lot of anticipation. There's a lot of prophets and people having dreams saying certain things that are supposed to be happening in the, within the next month. That all remains to be seen. With all that, with the stock market, folks, I just want to keep reminding you guys I've been saying it for a very long time now. It's because of the industry that I work in on the shortages Supply chains, inflation, cloud, vaccine, debt woes at IMF World Bank meetings. Right, So now that it's an it's a issue to the point to where now all the big banks are getting together talking about it. There's pressure on the White House as well. And this article here it came out a couple days ago from cars to gasoline surging prices match a 13-year high. Ever since uh, we started with lockdowns and, and kind of reporting to you guys like what was kind of happening with my place where I work and the different types of shortages that we have and they're still going on 
And there are some things that we haven't gotten in months. And there are certain types of plastics. There's the foam shortage, a plastic shortage. There's all, I, I did a video where I went over all the different types of shortages that are going on right now. And then we have all these boats sitting out at, you know, in the sea with all these products that can't be unloaded because they don't have the people. And I'm seeing a situation where the United States, within the next few weeks, is going to be in a different position if they don't solve this supply chain issue that is going on. And I've discussed in some areas where police departments, where there's a lot of police officers that are getting ready to quit so they don't have to deal with the mandate. And for those people who live in big cities and where you know crime is high, you just need to make sure that you're protecting yourself because there are people that are doing things without thought to how it affects somebody else. Going into stores, robbing, stealing houses. You guys know what I mean. And if they think that the police are not going to be available because there's no police or not enough police, it's going to embolden criminals. So I just wanted you guys to be prayerful in all of, all of this. And what we're getting ready to go through, folks, I've said... When things seem at their worst, we got to get through through the worst part. And that's for the entire world. There are major events brewing up in Israel and Syria right now. Things are escalating over there. It's not in the mainstream news right now, but it is escalating. we got the Maxwell trial starting next month, folks. And I want to say this. There's going to be a lot of fake cover news to try to distract you from what's going on because they're going to be pr promoting these fake stories. When we did like the whole thing with the Facebook, to me that was fake. And you're going to see a lot more of that. They're going to focus on issues that have nothing to do with what's going on, that the things that are getting ready to come out in, within the next month and a half. Getting people all off focus with, you know, different movies and tv series like the squid games you know when something is promoted like that that tells you we are very influential right and i i see the news headlines you know people talk about this whole squid game i i don't even know what it's even about it's capturing millions of people all across the world you know it's all distraction from what's really going on what's going on with facebook it's all distraction from from what's really going on you know, we're, we're entering into a sports season, so there's going to be a lot of sporting news, a lot of pumped up sporting news. You're going to see the media focus on things like, why are they talking about this? Why are they making this big news? Especially with everything that we have going on in this country. And that's what you'll say to yourself. So, uh, so folks, I just wanted to make you aware of what's coming down the road uh, when it concerns our economy, because those are two things, the debt ceiling, the tapering, could have an effect on the stock market. And it could cause not necessarily the stock market to crash, but it can go into a slump. Right? Because I think there are going to be other events that are going to cause a crash. We have manipulation in the stock market. We have all this fraud in the stock market that's been going on. And, and they're coming out with all these new regulations. There's all these different things that are just hovering out there. Um, that can have an effect on the stock market itself. And I'm going to say this. With the rich getting out of the stock market, you know, you're going to see a lot of stocks they're going to tell you guys to invest in. And when those issues start coming up, that is when that they're going to start getting out. When you think that the stock is going to keep going up, that's when they're going to get out because they want to hand over, they want to take from the retail Right, and they need to push the in order for them to benefit before any type of major stock market crash, they need to get out of their they need to get out of a lot of their positions. I think with all the prophetic events that could take place over the next month and a half, surely we are not that far away from a currency reset. So folks, I just wanted to bring this information to you. I got I hope that it has made you guys think about uh, the future. Uh, I hope that you guys are careful as far as, you know, what you're spending your money on, making sure that you have food, making sure you have enough money to invest, making sure you have the necessities to get through this time period. Because we don't really know, folks, what November is going to look like. It might be a completely different Thanksgiving than you have ever seen before in our lives. 
All right, folks, that's, that's it for today. I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.